all day long, and that is a little bit of everything today. Yeah, WGN's Brona Tumulty live in Naperville checking out the conditions there. Brona. Good evening, guys. Yeah, we were over in New Lenox earlier this evening, and the producer said we want to send you over to Naperville because it's going to be colder and talk about threatening you with a good time. We came to Naperville. I think they were right. It certainly feels colder. And as you can see, the snow is coming down pretty thick and hard. If you look behind me here, you can see that it is accumulating on the roads. That's all come down in the last hour, 90 minutes or so since we have been here. And having said all of that, the highway drive over here, it wasn't too bad, but obviously the smaller roads uh, will feel a little bit more dicey. Freezing rain and the snow has led to many accidents and spin outs today. We've seen the snow plows around though, so they're doing their best. And in speaking with Illinois Tollway today, we understand they have about 200 snow plows out trying to clear the roads. Amazingly though, we did find people out on the river walk tonight and one of those people had actually just arrived into Naperville from Mexico. And here's what she had to say about all this wintry weather. Yes, the floor is kind of slippery, but you gotta watch out where there's ice. We've been trying to keep social distancing, but it's fun to look around and to see the lights in Naperville. Now, if you do have to be out and about tonight, just be careful. Probably best to avoid the roads if you can. And while we did find some people out walking tonight, we also found people out doing a bit of dancing. We'll have more on that in about an hour. We're live in Naperville, Brona Tumulty, WGN News. I can't wait to see it. Thanks, Brona. And it has been no easier getting around further up north. Now, roads have been icy and slick all day long. WGN's Dana Rebick live at the Lake Forest Oasis with more. Good evening. Well, up here we have been seeing mostly freezing rain today into the evening, but as Brona mentioned, similar pattern up here just about an hour, hour and a half ago. It started to change over to snow, starting to stick on the ground now, and it has made just all day for a really messy time out on the roads. As you can see, it's snowy sideways now. A mix of snow and freezing rain that truck driver Jody Hayward has been dealing with all day. Very icy. I came over out of Michigan and it was a sheet of ice. So there's about 10 accidents, 12 accidents. They shut the highway down. It's been horrible. This afternoon, the southbound lanes of I-94 in Wisconsin were closed near Racine for several hours after several spinouts and accidents. Many drivers took a pit stop at the Lake Forest Oasis reporting slick conditions. You gotta be very careful, slippery in spots. A winter weather advisory is in effect until midnight with one to four inches of snow expected in Lake County, more near the Wisconsin state line. The Lake County Transportation Department has been at it since mid morning. We had full crew out there on the roads by 1030. So for us, that's 26 trucks um, in 26 routes. Right now, they're out there uh, plowing the slush away, applying salt. Yeah, this is the go-to spot. We caught up with some families sailing down the Lakewood Forest Preserve Winter Park sledding hill in Wakanda. I think the game plan was to get out, have the kids have some fun, uh, keep them from being indoors on their electronics. Yeah, it's it's pretty cold, but it's it's really worth it to like go down and sledding and everything. It's really fun. Back at the Oasis, some are waiting for the storm to pass. I'm not leaving tonight. I'm done driving. Yeah, I started early this morning. I'll still start tomorrow. While others still have a ways to go. I'm just coming back from Indiana and uh, roads are all pretty well plowed and salted down. But it's good to slow down a little bit and be careful. And with the temperature now dipping, uh, the Department of Transportation director here in Lake County is reminding everyone to take it slow tonight, especially on those bridges and over passes. He did say, though, one blessing about today it being a holiday that there have been much fewer people on the road, considering it's also a Friday. Live at the Lake Forest Oasis, Dana Rebic, WGN News. All right, Dana, thanks so much.